hey guys, it's Fury 91, and I'm talking about E3. Why? Because Sony is skipping E3 again. Now this kind of sucks because last year it made sense to me because they didn't have much to like announce, I'm, I'm thinking. But this year doesn't make as much sense. I mean, your PS5 is coming out. It would make sense for them to broadcast it basically everywhere. But at the same time, I guess with the PS5 coming out and, they, and, and Sony probably having to spend a lot of money making all these units and whatnot, I guess they're just trying to save money by not doing E3. They're probably just going to do their own console reveal. And this kind of sucks because I understand with the digital age and the internet and everything, E3 isn't as relevant as it used to be because... Back in the day, and I'm talking about back in like where you didn't have a bunch of leaks online where you knew what was coming. E3 used to be a big surprise. Like most of the games announced there used to be just shockers because you didn't have all these leaks. Nowadays, there's so many leaks. And yes, E3 still does throw a few surprises that we don't see coming, I believe. But it's not as many as it used to be with all the leaks out there. So I understand probably that Sony isn't willing to spend all that money when they can just really just go online and show everyone themselves. But at the same time, I really enjoy E3 because E3 is the one time of year where, where every game company basically, not just like Nintendo Direct is just Nintendo and State of Play is just Sony, but every game company basically comes out and shows their product. And it's really exciting for gamers to watch and everything. So I just wouldn't want E3 to go. So I hope that even though Sony is officially not showing up this year, they will come back next year because... With Sony leaving E3, it just becomes less legitimate, I believe. And how long is it before Microsoft follows suit? And once Microsoft is gone, I think E3's done. Because Nintendo basically only shows up to E3 for the digital. They do have a show floor, but they don't have a live press conference anymore. So I think once Microsoft goes, E3's done. And I don't want to see that happen. But what do you guys think about Sony skipping E3 again? And what do you guys think about E3 as a whole? And how long do you think it's going to last? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.